What is going on everybody? Nintendo Fan 155 here. And I'm back with another video. Um, I'm not bringing an unboxing video for you guys today. Because uh, I didn't pick up anything today to unbox. Obviously. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be picking up a Monster Hunter Rise. For the Nintendo Switch. Super excited for it. Um, I've always been a big Monster Hunter fan. Uh, I absolutely love the Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on the Wii U. It was fantastic. Um, honestly, I really couldn't get in the world because, uh, uh, it just, it felt weird playing a big, big Monster Hunter game on a non-Nintendo system. It, it just felt weird and I just really couldn't get into it. Bringing you guys the unboxing that tomorrow, I'm unboxing the Deluxe Edition, so stay tuned tomorrow for that unboxing. But today I'm going to be talking about why I love Nintendo and, um, why it's my preferred platform of choice and also i want to talk about the switch pro rumors that are running rampant throughout all over the internet all over youtube all over twitter social media everywhere um let's start off the first part my love for nintendo and why nintendo is my preferred platform of choice i'm 29 years old i'm gonna be 30 in a couple of months I've played a lot of games throughout my life, a lot, and the games that have always brought me the most joy were Nintendo games. You know, Mario, Zelda, Pokemon for the most part with Pokemon Red, Blue, uh, Yellow. I really haven't been into Pokemon much since uh, after the original Game Boy games, you know, with Red, Blue, and Yellow, but, you know... Once again, you know, you got games like Mario, Zelda, Metroid, Donkey Kong, um, all those games. The N64 was my childhood. Of, uh, that was the system I grew up playing. So many hours on with games like N GoldenEye, Perfect Dark, Star Fox 64. Star Fox 64 is in my top five best games ever. I absolutely love that game. I've played so many hours into it. I've even got it on my on my brother's Wii, which I used to play from time to time. But it's like, you know, I've owned many Xboxes and Playstations over the years. My closest friends will know me better than that, because I've gone through multiple PlayStation. This I've gone through multiple 360s, PS3s. Xbox Ones, PlayStation 4s, Xbox Series systems, PlayStation 5s, and Switches, and we use. But lately, I've just come to realize that when it comes to my gaming needs, I just get bored playing on an Xbox or a PlayStation, or even a PC. I've had a PC in the past, too. I just don't get that type of satisfaction from those systems anymore. I did when I was younger, my teenage years, you know, playing Call of Duty. Sorry, but Call of Duty 4 is probably my all-time favorite Call of Duty. Sorry to all fans of MW2. But it's like, Call of Duty isn't the same like it was back in the 360 PS3 in the Wii days. And it's just like, all these big budget games, they, they want to push the graphical limit, you know? They want to push these systems to what they can do. Same with PC. Everybody wants these high-listic, realistic, stylistic games where, you know, you see blood and, you know, it's everything. It's just, I want fun gameplay experiences. That is what is important to me. Gameplay experiences. I get them from Mario. What if it's Mario 64, Sunshine, Galaxy. I'm starting to play Hades now. I've waited so long to play this game because I wanted to get the physical copy, and I absolutely love this game, you know? I, and it's right now, it's only on PC and only on the Switch, and I just want to play it on Switch because I can play it anywhere. I'm going to talk more about the Switch's portability in a minute. And then, you know, you got games like Mario Maker 2, you know, a game with endless replay value. And it's a platformer. I'd rather play a platformer than a shooter nowadays anymore because I've been burnt out on shooters forever. And then, you know, you got games like Smash Brothers, you know. The amount of characters just in this game alone. It's incredible. And 
I I will always have fun playing Smash Brothers over Call of Duty or Battlefield, even Battlefront lately. It's just. And then you know when you got platform games like Crash and you know you got WWE Battlegrounds and you got Crash and you know I talked about shooters, but you know what? It's Plants vs Zombies, so I don't care. But it's like you know. I'm, up until I played Breath of the Wild, my favorite game of all time was Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It is still on my top five, Ocarina of Time, and I seriously hope Nintendo releases a 35th anniversary collection for The Legend of Zelda that includes Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess, because those are like my absolute favorite Zelda games after Breath of the Wild. But it's like, you know... Yes, I love games like Bloodborne and Final Fantasy VII, which is my still my favorite RPG game to this point. I'd rather play the original. I can play it on Switch. The remake, yes, it's a good idea what they're doing, what they did with the remake, but I'm sorry, but OG Final Fantasy VII to me is still one of the best games ever made. Still my favorite RPG game ever, and I can play it on Switch. I can play it anywhere I want. But, you know, when, you know, and Skyward Sword. Um... I'm picking up Skyward Sword HD day one. Um, I didn't really play Skyward Sword on the Wii. Um, my brother played it. He didn't really beat it because there was a fun, there was a glitch in the final boss or something and just screwed his game file up. So I'm excited to play Skyward Sword. You know, I'll probably get Pokemon Snap. You know, it's just lately I just get more excited for for anything Nintendo related, whether it's first party titles, second party releases, third party exclusives. Those get me more excited than anything else because they give me fun gameplay experiences. Like, I don't want to sit here and watch a movie or worry about, oh my god, look at this. I can see this person's pores in the video game. Like, when I'm playing video games, I, I need it to be like an escape. You know, I, I don't want to worry about real life when I'm playing video games. Which is what I think the Switch does it for me. And uh, it's just... And, you know, in the days of, you know, YouTube blowing up with gameplays, walkthroughs, and Twitch, Facebook gaming, all the stuff you can live stream, I feel like I don't need to go out and buy a PC or an Xbox or a PlayStation where if there's a game for those particular systems that I want to play, I can just watch on Twitch or watch on Facebook or watch on YouTube. I don't want to go out and buy another system when I don't want another system because, to be quite honest... I've played this system probably more in the past couple of years, owning multiple Switches, because I constantly kept slipping through systems, because I was trying to... I felt like I was getting bored with video games, but I always wanted to come back to the Switch. And especially now with this red and blue Switch, this Mario Edition Switch, I just feel at home, like... I've had probably, you know, we just got those stimulus checks and all that. I've had an opportunity to buy an Xbox or a PlayStation the past couple of times over the past couple of weeks. And I passed every single time because I just said to myself, I'm like, do I really want to buy those systems if I feel like they're just going to sit there and collect dust when I'm mainly playing the Switch? You know, and I just bought a, uh, a 400 gigabyte SD card. Off Amazon for 50 bucks. I just got about a couple hours ago to install my Switch. I'm like, if I'm making the investments, especially with all the games I bought for Switch, it's like, if I'm making the investment in Switch, why would I go out want to go out and buy another system when I just want to play stuff on Switch? I mean, I just saw a gameplay video of Doom, Doom Eternal running on Switch. It looks fine to me. It looks fine. Yes, it's only 30 FPS, but I'm tired of caring about little things like frame rate and Oh my god, this game's resolution drops. Oh my god, this stuff like... I'm like, I don't care. You know, I'm a... I just want to play video games. I don't want to worry about stuff like that. And that's what everybody just wants to do. They want to compare about the console wars and... Oh my god, stuff looks better on this platform. Stuff looks better on that platform. I'm like, I just don't care anymore. I just want to play video games. We're gamers. We're not professionals. We don't get paid for this. You know, just go out and play the games that you want. And another thing I'm going to talk about before I talk about um, the Switch Pro rumors is people love to throw out the notion that um, 
Switch has a drought going on. I'm sorry, but um, Xbox and put the Xbox Series X, S, and the PlayStation 5 and the digital edition, that's a game drought going on. I could say that too, because you know what? If I had to, if I had either one of those systems, there's not a game for them I want to buy right now. There's not, and there's really not. Maybe Resident Evil, but like I said, I could play. I could watch Resident Evil on my li on a live stream or a YouTube video. I don't need to go out and buy the system. It's like I would want all these games to come to Switch, but you know, some people just. To feel like, oh, if the, if the game don't look right, you know, why, why even buy it? It's like, who cares? And there's games for the Switch. There's games for everybody. There's platform. There's platformers. There's roguelikes. There's platformers. There's party fighters. There's endless replay value platformers. There's a, a arcade wrestling game, what have you. There's another platformer, and then there's a cartoon-based shooter based off of a mobile game. Then you got Monster Hunter coming out. I think what it comes down to a lot of people's problem is when they say there's a drought. People tend to want to just go right to their games. It's like, what's the joy in that? What is the absolute joy of playing a game where you especially a game you know with limited replay that with limited replayability you just want to burn through it it's like you play the game for 10 20 hours and it's a 20 hour you play a game for five hours a day five ten hours a day it's a 20 hour game you'll be done in two days and then you got nothing to play and whose fault is that you know that's why i love games with endless replay value you know like games like modern maker 2 and monster hunter coming out those games have so much value and the amount of hours you can get from playing them. Same thing with Breath of the Wild. I'm sure there's people that put a thousand, thousands of hours in Breath of the Wild. Because there's so much you can do. Game drought. It's, people just love to throw out that notion out there. Because another thing where I think people throw that notion out there for game droughts is they're talking AAA experiences. They only want to play the AAA titles from Activision, from EA, from Take-Two, from 2K, from Bethesda, from Ubisoft. All these companies and all these developers, if it's not a AAA game, they don't care. And half the time, when there's AAA games coming to a Nintendo platform, they say there's a game drought because it's not a game that they want to play. There's a big difference between an actual game drought and games you don't want to play. And I wish people would stop throwing out that notion that there's a game drought going on for the Switch when that is not entirely accurate. When there's more games coming out for this system this year than probably Xbox and PlayStation combined. And you know what? If, if I could go to a store right now and buy either a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, or a Switch... Give me the Switch because I know I'm going to get a lot more game time and a lot more value out of the Switch because, one, I'm not tethered to a TV. I've been playing in handheld mode a lot more lately. You know, nothing's better than sitting in the bed, sitting on my chair, watching TV, playing a little video game. You know, I could do that on my phone, but I'm not much of a mobile gamer. You know, this gives me the flexibility of being like a mobile gamer but playing console style games anywhere I want to because there's going to be opportunities where you know you may want to play something for a couple minutes and you don't want to feel like turning on your system or whatnot uh, I just the portability of the switch has made me fall in love with video games again it's why I prefer to stay on the Nintendo platforms because they try to do something new with every single system that they come out with it's not just a, an upgraded specs, an upgraded power. You know, that I like new things. You know, try to do something new instead of just increasing a system's capabilities. Because when it comes down to it, what makes a console? The games, not the power. Now, I want to talk about the Switch Pro rumors. Um, 
if the Switch Pro does come out this year, more than likely I'm going to buy it. And I'm actually going to keep this because this is a limited edition system. I'd rather just keep it and then I'll play on the Switch Pro. Because, you know, more options, gives me more games to play. I get to stay on my preferred platform with my preferred games. I don't have to go anywhere else. I may not get every single big first party title that comes out, or third party title that comes out that was on the other systems, but you know what? There's only certain ones I care about anyway. So, all these rumors that are coming out about the Switch Pro, because of the fact that Nintendo hasn't come out themselves and put the kibosh on it like they did in years past, especially what they did last year, yeah, um, it's more than likely happening this year, and I'm fine with it. If it's $300, $350, $400, I'm buying it because I always love getting Nintendo systems. And like I said, we'll see what happens with the capabilities. If there's more games that comes to the platform, I'm on board because, to be quite honest, if the Switch wasn't around, if Nintendo was not around, I probably would have quit gaming a long time ago. Because, like I said, all these other games are on the other systems. Yes, they've been great. Yes, they're they're amazing. But they just don't give me... They don't give me the incentive to want to stay with that platform. As much as Nintendo games do. With Mario, Zelda, um, Metroid, Animal Crossing, Pokemon. All the first party exclusives. All the, sec the second party titles like Bayonetta. Um, and third party titles like no, no More Heroes, all that stuff. And Monster Hunter, I'm just, I'm excited for the future of Nintendo. I'm going to continue to keep bringing you guys good quality Nintendo content, whether it's unboxings, more discussions like this, possibly might start doing game reviews. I'll let you know on that one. But yeah, I just wanted to get this video out there because I feel like I needed to do some type of discussion video. Talk about what I think is going on with Nintendo, why I love them, why I prefer to stay with them. And overall, just, you know, explain to you guys, you know, why my name is what it is. I've grown up with Nintendo. I probably will die with Nintendo. But the future, the, the point is, I'm sticking with what I'm sticking with. I don't see it changing. And... I'm okay with that, 100%. 100% okay with that. But anyway, this video is dragged on long enough. Um, did some rambling, but you know what? It was entirely worth it. I wanted to get this video out there. So, yeah. Um, if you guys like this video, please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And also, if you want to, throw in any suggestions, what you would love to see from me in the future. Um, I love doing videos. You know, it's a way for me to, you know, after busy days of work, just come home, relax, unwind. Throw some good quality content out there for you guys. So yeah, just hit me up in the comment section down below if you have any suggestions of what you look to see for me do in the future. And as always, guys, this is Nintendo Fan 155 signing out. Have a good night. Peace out.